My heroes are always people who feel themselves to be set apart, stigmatized, or othered. That's at the heart of most of what I write. And it's certainly at the heart of this movie. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them it was a textbook that Harry Potter used at school. While I was writing Potter, I became quite interested in Newt Scamander. So I knew quite a lot about Newt. He's been traveling the world studying magical creatures. He calls himself a magizoologist. First trip to America? Yes. Must get that fixed. Newt's creatures live in this magical case. You open it up, you can go down. It's an amazing space. Newt feels more at home with creatures than he does with human beings. Come on, give me a smile. Newt walks into a society he doesn't really understand. Mr. Scrander, do you know anything about the wizarding community in America? I know that you have rather backwards laws about relations with non-magic people. That you're not meant to befriend them, you can't marry them, which seems wildly absurd to me. You marry him. And then Jacob accidentally opens Newt's case full of magical creatures. Hey, Mr. English guy, I think your egg is hatching. So Newt gets embroiled in this adventure. He starts to look a bit more like a hero. It's something that has implications for the whole wizarding world. Oh, wow.